Thank you and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I'm with Cameron Mabin. Mother's Day, always a special day, but this year perhaps a little bit more meaningful for you. Um, yeah, it is. You know, right now my mom is, um, Renee Mabin is in her own, her own fight with breast cancer right now. So this year it means a lot to me to go out here, be able to play um, in her honor. Um, just want to bring some energy today, give her thanks for all that she's done for me. All that she's continuing to sacrifice for, my, for our family. So today is a big day, and uh, I'm excited that she'll have a chance to watch the game. And you're wearing a special shirt in her honor. Yes, Nene Strong. Um, grandkids call her Nene. My kids call her Nene. So um, this is for her today. You know, if it wasn't for her, uh, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be um, the man that I am today. You know, I'm truly thankful to have a, a mother who's molded me um, into a, the man that I am, who's, who's taught me how to respect women, how to treat women, and uh, I'm just so, so thankful that she's, she has an opportunity to watch me play the game that I love, and um, I'm thankful for all the sacrifices that she made throughout my life to, to allow me to be here and, um, and do what I love to do. A lot of people look at the athletes. You guys are obviously the ones that are in the forefront, but some people forget the people behind the scenes, like the mothers, like the wives, who put an awful lot of time in as well. Um, I said it yesterday to somebody. Uh, women are so special. The, the, the things that they're able to juggle, um, so many things at once, uh, you know, it's, it's special, you know. We like to think that we can do a lot, uh, you know, as men, but if it wasn't for the, the women in my life, I know that I wouldn't be here. Just um, all the sacrifice that they continue to put, you know, just, just put out there, to continue to put them side, they're themselves on the, on the back burner and, and look out for everybody else. I think that's truly special. And, um, you know, we should be thankful every day. Every day should be Mother's Day, as I said, or or appreciation to women around around the world and um, you know I'm happy that today we take a second to to honor all the women all the mothers and um, and give them thanks on today now does your mom watch all the games still all the games I mean she was in surgery for nine hours and came out and, and was waiting was watching my first uh, my, my first game as a Yankee so she continues to watch every game I encourage her to try to get some rest but she's uh she's not going to sleep until the games are over and until we got a win and um you know that, that makes it fun for me it's very cool now you mentioned your first game as a yankee when i spoke with you when you first came over to the team you talked about how excited you were mm -hmm. has it been any different than you expected over here yes actually it's been much different than i expected um as i continue to say the culture that they've created here uh is so much like a brotherhood it's so much like a family um you know, guys pulling the rope in the same direction has been so refreshing. Um, coming out every day and just trying to get a win, and that's the only thing that matters. Not, you know, individual numbers, not individual stats, but what can we do together as a group to win? And it makes it fun to, to be around guys like that. It makes it fun to wake up in the morning and and uh, want to get to the baseball field and, and play with guys who you feel like you are your friends. And I've only been here for... You know, maybe two weeks now, but you know, I feel like these guys are, are, are my close friends, and and it's, uh, you know, I think it's just a, a test, to, a testament to to the, the culture they've created, a family environment and a winning environment. So uh, it's definitely a lot different than, I, than what I expected. You've played with a lot of different organizations. Mm -hmm. Just how rare is it to have that atmosphere? It, it's extremely rare. Rare. I told somebody out of you know 15, 16 seasons um, playing parts of 12 professionally at the big league level. Um, this is only the second time I've been in the locker room where you can feel guys pulling the rope in the same direction. You can feel guys genuinely rooting for each other to do well so we can get a win. And it happened in 17 with the Astros when, when I went, was able to win a World Series. And uh, it's happening here. From the moment I walked in, you could just feel the energy uh, to come together and get a win. And it, it's special. And it, and it sounds weird to not see that every year but it's not like that everywhere and uh i think here is something truly special going on and, and hopefully guys can continue to stay together continue to push each other and and believe in each other and i think something special will happen this year have you been pleased with your play since coming over um yeah i, I think I've, I've done okay um just trying to just bring that energy one thing i do is bring a lot of energy when i play and you know, I just uh, want to be another piece of the puzzle. I think I've done a good job of not trying to do too much and just uh, stay within myself. I think a lot of credit goes to the coaching staff for, for making me feel comfortable, giving me uh, extremely good game plans to go out there and, and try to execute. And um, I'm just trying to be myself, and, and, I've, and I think I've, I've done a good job of doing that. I know it's early in the season, but you guys came in here with an opportunity to gain some ground in the AL East. Do you feel that in that clubhouse, even though it is only May? Yeah, you know, for me, it feels like every game is the most important game of the season. Um, and, and that's the energy that I think we, we have to continue to bring, continue to, 
you know, play October baseball in May. Um, continue to leave it all out there every day, and I think if we continue to continue to do that, continue to push, continue to grind together. I think we'll continue to surprise people until we get everybody back, and um, and then hopefully we can continue to just make a push and make a run and and uh, try to get to the postseason. Before I let you go, we know she's watching. Anything mm -hmm. you'd like to say to your mom? Uh, I talked to her already a, a few times through through text, you know, via phone. But you know, I love you, Nene. We're all rooting for you. Uh, stay strong and continue to just. Uh, just keep smiling. You know, that's one thing she does a great job of is smiling every day and, and not showing anybody, uh, you know, what's really going on. So just keep smiling. We love you and happy Mother's Day. Cameron, thanks for the time. All right, thank you. And I'd like to wish my mom, Kathy, a very happy Mother's Day as well.